Number five, Belgrade, Serbia. At the height of game four drama, Dusan Ketchman's no look pass to Slavko Vranes for a fourth quarter slam. Let the home crowd of over 21,000 roar as Partizan stopped Maccabi Electra. Number four, Vitoria, Spain. This week's MVP, Fernando Sanemiterio, was magical for Caja Laboral with a spinning layup late in the fourth quarter. But his team didn't score again, and Cesca Moscow grabbed a series clinching road win. Number three, Gdynia, Poland. All decade center Nikola Vujicic finds Olympiakos teammate Josh Childress, who knows where the ball goes, especially when the prize is Paris. The Reds rolled over a Seco Procom away on Thursday to punch their second consecutive ticket to the final four. Number two, Madrid, Spain. The Barcelona duo of Roger Grimau and Fran Vasquez make it look easy with an alley-oop slam over the Real Madrid defence. Barcelona won game three and four on the road to make it two final fours in a row. Number one, back to Vitoria, Spain, where Cesca's Victor Criapa's first shot was this two-hand dunk against Caja Laboral. The sporting bet April MVP helped Cesca rally late to win the series and reach his eighth straight final four. See you in Paris. Although he couldn't will his team to the 2010 Final Four, Caja Laboral shooting guard Fernando Sanemeterio certainly tried. And all his effort was not without some reward as he finished his Euroleague season with a well-deserved individual honour as MVP of Game 4 of the playoffs. Sanemeterio has been one of the revelations of the year in the Euroleague and in Game 4 it was easy to see why. With Caja Laboral behind by double digits early, he led a 27-8 second quarter charge to give the home side hope and finish the night with 23 points and 4 for 7 three-point shooting, adding 9 rebounds, an assist, a steal and 7 fouls drawn to a massive performance index rating of 30. He finished the season as the third-ranked player in the playoffs and in the top 20 for the entire Euroleague season. Quarter-final playoffs game for MVP, Fernando Sanemeterio, Caja Laboral. A wonderful J.R. Holden brought Seska Moscow to its eighth Final Four in a row. The veteran point guard scored 16 of his 19 points in the fourth quarter, allowing his team to complete a winning comeback, 74-70 to the final score, and to finish the series in Victoria against Calaboral on 3-1. Pesht inside had approached the game in a great way, but Laboral managed to surpass in the second period behind a Sanemeterio on fire and then always led in the third quarter. But in the final one, Holden made a sequence of incredible baskets before Sanemeterio stained his big performance with 23 points and 9 rebounds with a costly mistake from downtown in the final seconds. Just after that, Shiskauskas from the foul line could seal the win. Paris birth for Olympiakos Piraeus Stunned 86-70 Aseko Procom in Gdynia, closing the series 3-1 and advancing to the 2010 Euroleague Final Four. The Greek team had a great game from Josh Childress, 22 points and 6 rebounds, Milos Chadozic, 15 points, 7 rebounds and 5 assists, Linus Kleiza with 14 points. For the Polish side, David Logan with 18 points, Quintel Woods with 16 and Daniel Ewing with 14. Olympiakos to the Final Four! Regal FC Barcelona booked the ticket for Paris by edging arch-rivals Real Madrid at Palacio Vistalegre for the second time in a few days, 84-78 at the final buzzer, with the Blaugrana able to reach the second consecutive Final Four thanks to a great performance by Juan Carlos Navarro and Ricky Rubio, able to combine for 40 points with the decisive baskets in the hard-fought final. A great night from Sergio Llull, 20 points, was not enough for Real Madrid just to say goodbye to the competition. Partizan got to the Final Four after 12 years by defeating Maccabi Tel Aviv in Game 4, 76-67, so winning the series 3-1. It was a very nervous game for 30 minutes with Partizan up by 3, with many fouls and free throws at the end, 46 attempted by Partizan and 38 by Maccabi, and then McCaleb, MVP and top scorer with 19 points, scored the decisive baskets. 
helped by two dunks by Branish to earn a large advantage, 14 points at the beginning of the last period. Maccabi with Wisniewski 15 points and Perkins 14 tried to get back to minus 6 but it was not enough to get back to Tel Aviv after McCaleb 12 points for Ketchman and 12 rebounds for Roberts. Now Partizan will face Olympiakos in the final four semi-final in Paris.